Okay guys, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to be rebuilding and reconstructing different furnitures that are in the room, the radiator, the sofa, the table, and uh, other stuff. And uh, we're going to be doing some of them. And uh, the more important thing is really how to adjust those uh, models so they feel that they are exactly basically filling the same space as the furnitures. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm going to start by this radiator here. And uh, I'm just create a simple box go to something like uh, 10 centimeter I'm gonna let's just uh, rename it really quickly radiator and let's just uh, go ahead and put it under this right wall and zero out the position sorry and now uh, we can sort of move it a bit on the z-axis Okay, let's see what we can do. I'm just going to sort of adjust its size, move it. You can see the bounding box of it, uh, but the real, the real model can't be seen because it's under this uh, wall. And as you can see, all of them are under this null and this null has this texture tag and the type of tag is camera mapping. So you can see the real model and you just have to work with the uh, bounding box or you can put it out or delete this tag uh, to see how the model exactly looks but I don't think we're really gonna need them so we're just going to basically adjust the position here maybe make it a tad there we go it kind of feels like we need to adjust them you know to put it in front of the wall Maybe a few millimeter distance from the wall would be enough. Now you can sort of adjust it a bit more. There we go. I think it's really kind of exactly as it looks. That's great. Now the next thing is really filling up this uh, sort of uh, this thing here. Let's go create a cylinder. I'm just going to you know basic shapes just create basic shapes and try to adjust and match them with what you have in your scene let me go ahead and I'm just going to the caps feel like caps let's go something like five centimeters and I'm just going to adjust its position uh, let's go ahead make it a tad smaller okay and I'm going to hit C on the cylinder and also I'm just going to make sure that our cylinder is uh, sitting on the floor that's important and go to its axis center or just let's use this axis center here and execute that and um, let's go ahead and see how the thing is looking. I'm going to just put it under this null so we can you, you're not gonna adjust these on y-axis we're just moving it on z and let's see I'm gonna make it a bit longer maybe a bit let's adjust the height of it, move it until it feels like it's sorta you know fills the same space it's really that that's it you know that's what you have to do in order to get the job done and uh, uh, that's I think it's enough for this one now uh, for the rest of them I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just going to uh, remodel to kind of model all of these guys and uh, when I'm done I'm just going to simply go ahead and adjust all of them like uh, what I did with this uh, cylinder and uh, with this uh, other guys we're gonna be doing the same thing so I just go ahead and quickly model them and when I am back I'm gonna uh, putting everything together and hopefully uh, we'll be finished uh, rebuilding our room by the end of this lesson okay guys so I went ahead and kind of remodeled these guys and put them together and we have the sofa this table and these uh, laptop and it's uh, uh, kind of table and now let's go ahead and quickly <clears throat> adjust this guys I'm gonna start by the sofa so let's go ahead and 
uh, disable the rest here. The sofa, where is this? There we go. Now I'm just going to adjust this a bit, put it, put in the room a bit more, and see what we can do. If you come here, you can see it's not exactly on the floor, so you have to adjust it until it's exactly sitting on the floor. And I'm going to actually adjust its axis center so it's sitting on the floor. I'm just going to do it quickly here. There we go. Now, let's see. It's too big, sorry. Let's go ahead and start scaling this until it's exactly sitting where it needs to sit. Now, let's go ahead and we can adjust its position a bit and make it a bit bigger maybe until it feels like right. We can move it a bit closer on the Z axis maybe and I'm just going to adjust its scale again. So I think we are kind of close to what we have here. We can adjust this corner a bit, so, uh, but you know, that's okay. We can adjust them later on. I'm just going to quickly move these guys into the position. Let me turn on these null, this table here and see what we can do with it. It should be, uh, sorry. So I'm selecting the table, move it about here. And let's go ahead and talk about some other stuff. And um, yeah, we're gonna be doing the same thing with this guy. So putting it on the floor uh, where it should be. And move it on the Y axis here. And let's go ahead. And now, so we are gonna need to adjust its center here. So let's move it exactly on the floor. I'm just going to quickly see what we are doing here. Okay, let's scale it down a bit. Uh, move it into position a bit better. And maybe Maybe we can adjust the position, scale them down a bit until they on the Z axis again. Let's see. Can scale them up. Maybe we can move them. Possibly scale them in this direction. So it's really just, uh, you know, playing around and uh, seeing if it's right or not. And you can spend hours trying to uh, reconstruct and adjust these guys the way they should be. And uh, for the under time, it's really not an exact science, and you just need to uh, feel it and see if it's right. Okay, I'm not getting this one the way it should be adjusted. I think we can scale them down a bit more and move them maybe to the side. No, that's not too bad. And we have a very good situation right now which we can uh, see what's going on here. Okay, now let's go ahead and talk about this laptop. And I'm just going to enable it. And as you can see, not a very good position. Maybe it should be somewhere around here. 
and I'm gonna do the same thing with the laptop move it up and try to move the axis center of it and let's go ahead and scale it a bit and I'm just really trying to adjust and see how this thing are gonna match up with our situation I'm just going to uh, go inside this laptop and I have this guy here I'm gonna hit C so I can simply adjust them and see just make sure sorry so let's just move them a bit so they sort of there we go that's better now you can go ahead and adjust the thing but I don't think we're gonna be really this one or two centimeter it's gonna be uh, it's gonna matter at all you know if uh, we did the final simulation and we see that there is a problem we can simply go there and adjust them now I just try to make uh, this guy's a bit better maybe try some simple adjustments and uh, <clears throat> basically in the next lesson we are uh, ready to go and start uh, setting up our dynamic simulation setting up uh, the basic of it and see how we can uh, really manipulate the dynamic simulation and uh, get uh, exactly what wants you know the dynamic simulation you know it's really simple you simulate stuff you think you don't have exactly what you uh, you don't get finally exactly what you think but uh, you know we're going to be showing you some tips and tricks that really makes the simulation to be in your hands and you can control where those spheres goes and back and come back it's just not like you just uh, throw some spheres and uh, hopefully and hope that they finally make it uh, to where you want we're going to be uh, manipulating them and uh, showing you how to do that and the materials are also very important you can see uh, uh, also, you know, what we can do uh, in this lesson is to actually uh, see uh, how exactly it's going to uh, sort of react with our dynamic simulation, this adjustment that we did. So what I'm going to do is simply go ahead and uh, quickly s uh, set up a s really quick dynamic simulation. I shouldn't have deleted those uh, dynamic simulation that we had. So I'm just going to quickly uh, do something, maybe 7 centimeters, go select the cloner, change it to grid array. And let's go to something like seven, 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 and let's go ahead and adjust them a bit. And you can see it's uh, really this. Everything is trying to when you uh, take a look from this uh, top view. Basically, everything is uh, up there, and you can see the sofa. They are exactly as you see them in the uh, picture, and uh, that's really important to consider. You know the layout. Of the furniture it should match the scene you know uh, so let's go ahead and maybe adjust these guys a bit put them somewhere like here and move them higher let's really quickly apply a rigid body tag and select these two guys and apply a collider body tag and let's go ahead and um, turn this thing make it inherit tag apply tag children so the children will get effects now if i hit play you can see how they sort of feel that they're in the room and if i uh, render it right now and it would help if we actually had ambient occlusion now as you can see this table feels like it's not on the floor exactly but uh, you know what we're gonna do it's actually adjust this it should be on the uh, table so you can see you might need to adjust this thing later on but I think it's okay you know we can move it on the Z axis bit downer make it a bit bigger okay so something like this and uh, you know uh, let's see what they are gonna look like so let's see what we can do 
I am going to actually delete these guys because uh, just control drag this tag again and if I render right now and also I'm going to this cloner go to its transform tab and kind of select a white color so let's render and now as you can see they really feel like they are in the scene let's go ahead and adjust our timeline a bit maybe to 200 frames and uh, let's see look at that isn't that great let's uh, go ahead I want to just see them settle basically now as you can see they feel like they are in the scene aren't they they do feel like look at those spheres out there they are really cool and everything is just uh, looks great and uh, there might be uh, you know there might be a need to actually adjust these guys later on look at these guys are going to that next door uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool guys anyways uh, I think we're getting there everything is just looking fine uh, uh, for me you can see those spheres under the uh, uh, table here it's just so cool and uh, I'll show you how to adjust them I mean, if we really think that there is a need when you do that you know getting to our uh, you know main dynamic simulations and it feels like that this uh, kind of furnitures are sort of off we can come back here and adjust them later on but uh, in this lesson we basically uh, rebuilt our scene uh, recreated some of the furniture we tested the accuracy of our camera calibration and the position of those uh, furniture by putting uh, some uh, cloner and some dynamic simulation and uh, in the next lesson uh, we're gonna be start to uh, set, uh, kind of set up our basic our uh, you know main dynamic simulation and uh, hopefully uh, we creating materials trying to adjust the materials this uh, material that we have right now the material of the floor exactly which uh, the floor is so reflective but you can see it uh, actually uh, it doesn't reflect the spheres and we have to do some things to make sure that the spheres are gonna get reflected uh, in the floor otherwise it's gonna look so uh, natural so uh, in the next lesson we're gonna be uh, starting uh, you know setting up our dynamic simulation see you in the next lesson